I'm Mr. Conductor, and I'm going to tell you a story about trains, folks far apart, and the magic railroad that brought them together. <laughs> Every story, like a railroad, has its heroes. Meet Thomas. He's our number one hero. Hello! But he's running a little late today. This is the island of Sodor, where Thomas and his friends live. It's at one end of my special universe. Hello, James. I like helping out here. By the invitation of Sir Topham Hatt, of course. Five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Appreciate practicing your numbers, Gordon. That's a good engine. I'm counting how many seconds late you are. <laughs> what does that sign say? Hmm. Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. <laughs> sign, head of the railway, Sir Topham Hatt. But you weren't on time, little Thomas. And you're being bossy, Gordon. <laughs> now, please excuse me. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's looking after us while Sir Topham Hatt takes a much-needed holiday. Oh, <laughs> I think we can take care of ourselves. Get out of my way! <laughs> I think we can take care of ourselves. Get out of my way! <laughs> I have unfinished business here, and I want to finish it fast! The diesel pen's back! <laughs> Yes, 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. The blast from the past, who hates steam engines. Yeah, maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here after all. On time. At the other end of my universe, far away across oceans of time, up and over Muffle Mountain and hidden deep in a valley, is my hometown. Shining time. Every now and then, there appears a sign that points just round the bend to a place you'll find covered in clover. The magic comes over you, showing a bright. And by the way, I think that you're going to help me and Thomas somewhere in this story. If Diesel has unfinished business, there's sure to be trouble right around the corner. Sandal fly, boot fly, shoe fly, that's it. And a still buzz off. Botheration. You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines from crashing. What are you doing in the shed, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're red. I was naughty and Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I can be really useful. Then I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. So uh, Topham Hatt Thomas. says, the harder we work, the less he'll need diesels to help. Help you? Huh? <laughs> well, you always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. No, we're <laughs> not. Yes, you are. Aren't. Are. Now, I've come back to find a lost steam engine. What? I'm going to destroy her and dominate you. And then you'll be nothing but useless scrap. Right, Pinchy? Big bully. <laughs> We're really useful engines. You won't dominate us, and you won't destroy her. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. I want to fetch him now. What lost engine? Fairmont. 
job's finished. I reckon Shining Time is the best welcome sight of any town in our valley. <coughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Billy's old map sure helped a lot. <coughs> He's on his way back now, is he? You hear that train whistle sooner than it hears itself. <coughs> around here except for the ones that you travel on it's a mystery that make this land so magical well i better be off to muffle mountain i promised mr stone that i'd clean out his yard today does burnett stone ever give you a smile no but he doesn't frighten my horse either which means i don't think he's a bad man i think he's just sad I didn't know that in Muffle Mountain there was a secret that Burnett had shared only with his childhood friend, Tasha. One day, Tasha, I'm going to drive this engine, and I'll take you with me. Promise you will, Burnett. Promise. I promise. This engine was vital to the magic that held these worlds together, but only Burnett knew that. Station manager Stacy Jones speaking. Oh, yes. The 1015 from Pelican Falls to Shining Time is right on schedule. You're welcome. The 10 o'clock to Lucy's Leap is leaving now. Oh, silly. I found this child's drawing in an old locker in the Lost and Found. Look at the signature, Billy. Burnett Stone. <laughs> it's hard to believe Burnett could have ever looked that happy. Burnett had a wonderful smile. And he loved railroading, too. How did you find me here? I found the entrance to your workshop ages ago. But I would never tell anybody. See that switch on the wall? Flip it off. I guess there was something mysterious about this mountain. Yeah. All mountains have their secrets, Patch. Shouldn't surprise a kid like you. Could I help you, Mr. Stone? Sure. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why is she locked up? She isn't. She's safe from harm. Long ago, I made a mistake as Lady's caretaker. An evil diesel found Lady and threatened to destroy her. He chased her, used up all her coal, he made her go too fast. And then he crashed her. And I brought her here. I tried my best to fix her up. But I've never been able to make up for the mistake I made. And I've never been able to bring her to life, to make her steam. Patch, she's as precious as coal. Angie, you captured the real me. I mean, that's that's beautiful. I, I could cry. Uh, uh, <coughs> all right, listen, you two. I uh, I got a job for you, Sludge. Actually, it's, it's a splatter. <coughs> and and dodge. But I ain't got time to say both names. Oh, oh well. I've come back to find a steam engine. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, you can't miss. Not the one I want. She escaped me once before. 
As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed... Uh, destroyed? Did you say destroyed? B-word. Like her? Yeah, destroyed. Uh, there's one small problem there, Paul. Yeah, Mr. Conductor's coming, and he won't let you destroy. Uh, he won't let you stop. I can do whatever I want. I'll get him, too. <laughs> With pinch. <laughs> oh, pinchy. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Mr. Conductor? Oh, hello, Billy. Uh. Well, hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. goes well, Mr. C. Thank you. <clears throat> I must be responsible, reliable, and... Don't tell me. Really useful. I knew that. I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, well, thank you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle, too. You know, gold really is your color. this painting an old locker it was done by burnett stone when he was a child i was told that he used to work on this railroad but he never leaves the other side of the mountain now you seem puzzled mr conductor well i am puzzled this place looks like the island of sodor but how would burnett stone travel there without gold dust sparkle's been the only way to make the trip since the lost engine disappeared anyway i just came to say goodbye I have to go now. Right now? Well, yes, you see, I have to make sure that everything is safe and sound on the island of Sodor, just as I try to do here. 